Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. Um, I just wanted to clarify a little about what it is that's meant by the lower mental body. Um, what we have in our lower mental body is actually the sum total of all our memories and emotions that we had as children before we attained the age of reason. The age of reason being the age at which the logical left brain starts entering the picture, the mental picture. Uh, what we have in the inner child, the lower mental body, is actually, it's, it's a person. It's the person that we were for those many years including all of our infancy experiences, toddler experiences, and uh, young child experiences, all of them. An actual separate person there, as it were, that became caged up or silenced or um, pinned down or um, bottled up by our logical brain when that took over our understanding. So, so there's a vast richness of childhood experiences waiting for to be discovered by us and set free and integrated with the rest of our memories. A lot of times people wait and don't even bother for decades. I've heard this so many times because Claire audiently I hear the lower mental body chatter as well as the uh, higher mental body chatter. And so many times I, I hear this plaintive cry, something like, he forgot all about me, He'll, he won't talk to me, it's, he, he doesn't love me, and all this, it's, it's really heartbreaking to hear what these, these inner children are thinking. Set aside and imprisoned for all these years of our adulthood. And then sometimes people wait until until their, their um, higher mental bodies start to falter, until in old age, um, for instance, they have Alzheimer's or whatever it is, and at that point, the memories of their childhood flood back in, and the lower mental body takes over again, and they become like children. It's not that they've lost their sense of hi history. It's not that they've lost their sense of all of the memories in uh, adulthood, but rather that they've regained the richness and joy and spontaneity of early childhood. We can do that. We can, we can regain that, and we can keep what we have, and we can attain what is called unified mind. It's really such a cool prospect, and one that more and more people are deciding to undertake. What an amazing prospect.